Setting targets at a market is probably more important than you think and possibly you might never have done it before but I think it's a great way to just maximise what you achieve and get out of the market. So if you've never set a target before you'll probably find it a bit tricky probably emotionally and mentally thinking well I don't want to set a target and then not meet it or I don't want to set a target and limit myself even but that's not what it's for. You could set a baseline target that you want to achieve this amount of money by the end of the day and then an aspirational target as well but what targets do and how it changes you as a seller it can just change more often that last hour of sales when it gets quieter and what would happen and i've seen it happen is you start to get a bit disinterested you start to pack a few things away rather than being focused on the people that are still there some people might even go and have a wander around themselves try and save time in the morning to do that and you are then spending time away from your store however if you've set yourself a target and you know that to get your aspirational target you are just two sales away from your aspirational target you are going to make the most of every opportunity. So a customer walks up and these are the hardcore customers because they're at the end and they're like still looking for some stuff. You might want to just give a cheeky little last half hour discount away. So you're there and they're stood there and you're like, oh, do you know, I'll do two of those for, with 10% off or whatever. You then become like the sales person extraordinaire. You're just going to push to get these last two sales because you know that if you do, it will be more money and you will hit your target. And it just makes you better as a person trying to sell your stock. And it's like rule book out the window at this point. You just want everything you can. You want to get those sales. Whereas if you hadn't got a sales target, you've not a clue how many you've sold. You're probably not even keeping track of how many sales you've made on that day. And you're just a bit like, oh, well, if I get another sale, that'll be a bonus. If I don't, whatever. It makes you better if you have a sales target. The other benefit is if you've got the sales target and you've hit your baseline and even if you're nearly at your aspirational or you are over your aspirational target, then it's time to celebrate. One thing small business owners are not necessarily great at doing and traders are not great at doing is celebrating the wins. So if you've had a really good day, take time off and enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that you've achieved something and the fact that you've set a target, you worked a little bit harder and it paid off. And maybe you would even then take it a little bit further that you've seen that you were five sales away from your target. Put that out on social media. Just say I was five sales away from my aspirational target at this market. Had a brilliant day, but I want five more sales this weekend and I'm going to offer 10% off on my online shop. Here's the code. See if you can get the next five sales before the end of play on Sunday. We're just making ourselves better and striving for more things. Ultimately, it's a business. This Then you get those five sales. You're like, I am having a Monday off, people. And it just makes you a little bit better. So I would say always set a target at a market, set them baseline, set aspirational, set whatever you want in between and make it be, in a, be about you being the best stallholder and salesperson for your business it can be.